Let's get this figured out This rug gon' give me whatever I need until I get this vision out Then they gon' pay me whatever I ask cause I got it figured out Tell me be checking all up on a nigga to see how I'm feeling now Damn it love to see a nigga really make a killing now I put a lock on the game and I hide the code in the keys I am not playing no games, I really play this shit for peeps College football, 25 heads, Madden heads, whoever. Lend me your ears, man. It's day three of this thing, and, and y'all, I'm in my zone, man. I, I ain't even gonna front. I'm, I'm like, this is what I do. This is what I live for. So, all right. So, today, we're gonna talk about revamping your passing options. And so, let's, the first, first one we're gonna cover is revamp passing. The classic passing controls that give more control of the arc of the pass with the ability to perfectly throw passes based upon the rating and pass context context. So it, it gives you the ability to take something off of the pass. In other words, and let me paraphrase all that stuff. And so to me right now, revamp passing may be like a combination of everything we've seen in the past. I know that a lot of people are stuck on placement and accuracy because of the free form. Now, the one thing, there are positives, pros and cons to all this stuff, right? I always say that if you learn the mechanics, especially the ones I put in the mechanics Bible, you can use any of these passing settings, any of them. It, it won't matter if your mechanics are right. But let's, let's just talk about revamp because with revamp, what I've noticed, and like I said, with, with the normal uh placement and accuracy thing freeforming is great but the issues with freeforming comes in in the it comes with the fact that it's hard to control the trajectory of the passes so while you may be able to move a pass far to the left far to the right whatever whatever when it comes to the arc in the high or low of the pass with freeforming you're losing something in that area and so the thing that I figured out about revamping it, revamp passing, the revamp passing system is the fact that it's almost like a 360 degree deal, meaning you can still get the east west um, of freeforming, but you also get the benefit of being able to control the arc of the pass. And I know a lot of us have issues with that because a lot of us or, you know, we, we, we bullet pass everything. I mean, this is a, a been a way of the world in Madden forever and a day is to bullet pass every pass. And so now that, that this revamp thing is here, I, I, I'm just hear me out. Trust me, it's something that that you guys who really are into the mechanics, this this may be the thing for you because you actually get to control the length of the pass. Not only the arc in, in the trajectory, you get to control the length of the pass more so than any of the other um, passing options, in my opinion. Classic is still classic. It's still, it's gonna show you high ball, low touch, all this stuff. With revamp, you still get the ability to low touch, but you get the ability to low touch passes and actually control the distance. And so I think that's where a lot of people may get this stuff kind of twisted in terms of when they talk about revamp passing, because I've seen a couple of videos that talk about it. But to me, the advantage of revamp passing is that not only do you get to control the trajectory, you get to control or better control of the di boy cha-cha slide. Take it back now, y'all. Um, yeah, you young guys, y'all won't know what that is. But anyway, um, you get to control the distance of the pass with how you kind of, you know, move and shake, you know, with, with your balance between the stick and the button mechanics. And this is something that I'm totally going to go into um, in the uh, college football 25 mechanics guide. And so for a lot of you guys, I love that catch and I love that throw. And so for a lot of you guys who are hearing things about the game, like, or if you just played a 10 day trial for the guys that are, are, are crapping on this game, 
you're not totally wrong in some aspects, but you're the reason why you you ultimately are wrong is because it's just some things that you just don't know. And so if you just look at Madden from a certain perspective of the things that have happened in the past and, and you're not really on the game, of course, you're, you're going to be able to come in the comment section. Oh, it's just the same old Madden or it's just the same old EA and blah, blah, blah. And, and no, don't get me wrong. There are aspects of this game that I absolutely hate. In terms of the uh, the ability to adjust and, and their control and the ability to adjust, but those things are more so functionality. I expected the tackling to be wrong. There are ways to tackle. There are ways to make up for that. You, I keep telling guys all the time: if you don't have the mechanics bible, if you have not gotten a virtual, um, if you haven't gotten, if you have not had a session with me, if 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 you just getting back to the game because you know you haven't played in five or six years and you're just you college football you, it's peak, it piques your interest because you're being nostalgic fellas i promise you that like this is like is as much of a guarantee as i can give if you don't have the mechanics bible you got it you have to get the college football guide and even for you guys that do have the mechanics bible there are certain things in this college football guide that are going to be different because it's a different game. There's a different way to play this. And so some of the things that we actually stress uh, real heavy in the college football guide won't be as heavy in, in the, I mean, excuse me, in the um, mechanics Bible won't be as heavy in the college football guide. There are just things in this game that you have to learn. And the revamp passing system is one of them. I tell everybody, I actually was telling a client this last night. Go through all of them. Don't limit yourself to any playbooks. Don't limit yourself to any style of play right now. Go through the things that you need to get through in order to evolve your game as this game, you know, evolves throughout the year because there will be patches. The, you know, the pursuit angles after we complain enough and everybody cries enough will get better. Even though I, I say right now, I don't care if they're like that because I understand how to click on and tackling. There's a new click on and tackling system that you have to kind of use um, from a mechanic standpoint in order to get yourself to not give up so many big plays and, and to make sure that you're in the right places and to make sure that you're going for the proper tackles and to stop getting just um, totally juked out of your shoes. So, so trust me, all of these things, those things I will cover in definitely cover in the college football 25 mechanics guide, but this revamp passing thing that the stuff that I'm hearing about it is some of it is laughable because I'm just like, wow, it, there are people out here talking about stuff that they have no idea of how it works. They just don't have an idea. And so if you sit here and you look at these highlights and you compare these highlights to all the other stuff you've seen thus far in these first three days or whatever, even more than that, because, you know, of course, the pros have the game early. <laughs> but you you go back and look at this stuff and go back and, and just compare and contrast to what you're looking at, whether it's in practice mode, you'll see me playing practice mode, you'll see me playing ultimate team, and you'll see me playing rigs. And so I try to cover every area. The only area I haven't covered yet is is how the gameplay works in, you know, Dynasty or Franchise or, you know, whatever. And that's just simply because we haven't, haven't gotten to that point of the game yet. And so but what I want is for people who are jumping into dynasties, people who are jumping into franchise, well, dynasty or franchise, or, you know, you're just playing regs. You, 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 you got a, a $50 bet with your cousin every week when y'all play, man, go pre-order the college football mechanics guy. I know it sounds like a sales pitch, but you, you just go read the reviews first. The guys who had my uh, mechanics Bible go back, Read the reviews from those from those guys before you even make a decision about spending money, because I am here to tell you, as long as this college game is around pretty much until we change how we play this game, the stuff that I'm going to teach you will last a lifetime. Anyway, man, I appreciate each and every one of you guys. It's your boy, Coach. I'm out.